Hi there, in this video we'll learn about the rich lines, which is a concept uh, related to the economically efficient region of production when it comes to the isochorns. It is related to the shape of the isochorn that we know is uh, a negatively sloped convex to the origin shape. Now let us see uh, with the help of this diagram that how it happens because we are interested in the economically efficient region of the production where the firm would like to restrict its production and this is this uh, economically efficient region which is shaded in grey area and the firm would like to produce in this area and not beyond it neither to the left nor to the right. Technically where the MPs of the inputs are positive uh, which lead to negatively sloped isoport. So in this area the MPs of the inputs are positive that is the marginal products. Let us see here uh, this is the, uh, the diagram that we have been studying before where we plot the marginal product, the average product and the total product of the input. And here we see that there are uh, three stages out of which uh, MP is positive in the first stage and in the second stage. But in the third stage it becomes negative. So we are interested in, in these stages where the MP is still positive. And this is that stage beyond which the desirability ends. Here in this diagram, uh, in this region we have a positive MP of the inputs. And if we consider the economically inefficient area, where the MP would turn negative and the production will reach the third stage. This is that area where the MP will become negative and here we are. You can see it is below the x-axis and the MP is now negative. So this area is undesirable and we avoid this area. How we can avoid this area? We make this uh, uh, line here, a curve. And here again another curve because this is the curve that separates the negatively sloped area of the isoquants and the positively sloped area of the isoquants. Here you can see the isoquant has turned uh, into a positive curve. Again here beyond the point A it becomes positively sloped. So this positively sloped area of the isoquant is not desirable because here MP is now negative and this is the third stage of the diagram that we have seen before. So if we consider it, uh, this is the point A, this is point B. These are two uh, special points because um, the peculiarity we observe here is there the MRTS is undefined here because uh, the value of the x-axis variable that is labor input is constant here. So the change in it is zero and the denominator will be a zero. It means that we have MRTS equal to zero, delta K over delta L. MRTS is equal to infinity and the denominator was equal to zero. And here we have the point B where MRTS is equal to zero because the, the numerator that is K is equal to K1 and the rate of change of it is equal to zero. It means that MRTS is equal to zero. So these are the two points that are not desirable and beyond this point and that point the slope of isoquant becomes positive and enters into the region which is characterized by negative marginal product of inputs. Uh, and in between A and B there is desirable uh, region where the uh, output uh, can be kept constant and we can come up with various combinations of labor and capital because isoquants have the basic feature of having a fixed level of output. So if one of them increases that is capital, the other input that is labor will have to be increased whereas when we move from point A to point C both of them will increase which is uh, against the condition of the isoquant. Uh, we call this uh, certain diagram as ridge lines as you can see because it is giving us a kind of situation which is similar to the topography when we study the shapes of the mountains, uh, we see that we make such ring sort of diagrams and such curves that are um, uh, having a, a kind of pattern which are quite a bit coherent as you can see. These are quite coherent with each other, one another. So these are known as ridge lines that basically uh, separate the economically efficient area from the economically inefficient area. So this is what we have observed here. With the help of ridge lines, we can come up with the suitable and non-suitable area. Uh, these are the same things that we have already studied. 
the MRTS or the slope of uh, the isoquant which was 0 and infinity at two points that is point B and point A perfectly horizontal and perfectly vertical both of these um, showed the beginning of the unsuitable areas of the isoquant. So this is how uh, the ridge lines can help us to understand the economically efficient and economically inefficient areas of the isoquants. Thank you.